okay. Right. Remove this again. Put this all to the side for a second so I can get this nut the screw that fell. Let's put this back over here. Again, being mindful of uh, the, the spool starter that's loose over here. Okay. okay once I have that in like that, then I'm going to come from the side here and I'm going to start screwing it in, okay? Okay, that's in there snug. I'm going to replace this little support right here. I'm going to pull this back a little bit, push this down, and I'm going to pull it across, and there's a little slot that it slides into underneath here, just like this. It kind of holds it in place. Kind of like a little support. There we go. It's right up in the front right here. And it slides in and slips right in. And so we'll start sliding this, these little screws back in. And I'm sorry, I had a couple little mishaps and it may be a little difficult to see from the angle. Okay, we're going to take our 5 sixteenths here and tighten it up. Again, the main thing is when you're manipulating the spools to keep that base down and to be very careful. Alrighty, so we have that there. Okay, and we're going to uh, thread our Slow, um, slow speed needle. Okay, I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to go all the way down until it's gently, gently snug. Okay, and I'm just going to, okay, gently snug and I'm going to turn the needle out roughly one and uh, one and a half out. That's a half. One. One and a half. That's the starting. That uh, that's the uh, that's the starting position you're going to put it in, in order to <clears throat> make some adjustments on the boat later. And then you just tighten the packing needle just like this until it's snug. You're not until it just makes it a little uh, snug when you turn it. You're gonna make you're gonna snug it up a little bit more until there's a little bit of resistance turning, but not a lot. Okay, and then uh, from now we're gonna go ahead and put on the choke knob, which I found. All right, I'm gonna slide that on. And I have a little piece of uh, little uh, piece of wire that I'm going to use, and there's a little eye in the little uh, 
little stud that goes across at the bottom to hold it in place because uh, I don't uh, ran out of little pins okay I'll tighten that up later but I just wanted to have that in place uh, just to see uh, so I could show you uh, that uh, pulling the choke in and out to get the little mechanism to work. See? There we go. Well, uh, <clears throat> that's it for the time being. Um, later on, if I can, I'll try to make it where uh, I'm doing uh, um, adjusting the carb with the motor started uh, in a barrel or on the boat. Uh, but for the time being, um, uh, the carb is on there, it's complete, uh, and you, the initial open settings is uh, the needle all, turned all the way in clockwise, seated gently, and then turning it out uh, one and a half uh, turns. And then uh, you snug up the packing nut, and then um, you uh, put the knob on, and then you can uh, you usually turn it in slightly at eight, uh, one eighth uh, to a quarter increments while the motor is running uh, until it starts uh, slowly, <clears throat> slowly um, um, uh, revving up and smoothing out. And then, uh, but I'll explain that in another episode uh, uh, for the motor. Uh, and then also, last thing is, don't forget to go ahead and hook up the. Uh, the fuel line from the carb. Okay, uh, and the only thing that would be different um, would be uh, if you had a high-speed needle. You would do the same thing as a slow speed, the slow-speed needle, uh, except when you turn it inward gently, you would turn it out at least three quarters to a hole, preferably a hole. Uh, that way, uh, there's um, it's adequate to to start the motor and make a fine adjustments on the motor. Uh, that's it and I hope you uh, I hope this helps you um, again I'm sorry um, some of the things uh, it took a little bit longer and I probably did a lot more explaining uh, but I was just hoping if someone who is brand new to working uh, on motors uh, they would feel a little bit more comfortable for some people who've worked a little bit on motors it was probably long and tedious and boring um, but I, I originally set this uh, for someone who's a complete novice to be a little bit more comfortable. Okay, well, um, you take care, and I hope you enjoy the videos. Bye.